Standing at the highest point of the watershed, rainfall coming into the forest just infiltrated into the soil and infiltrated water gradually flowing from here to the downstream and just below here we can see the origin of the stream. Welcome to the origin of the water. This is the, just the starting point of the stream. From here to the downstream, water will experience many things. And from headwater to the ocean, there are very, very long journey of the water. So I would like to invite you this journey. Hydrological cycle starts from cloud formation. You can see many clouds are now forming from the forest. Fall and snowfall from clouds make stream flow. Starting from this small stream, river collects many stream flow, gradually increasing the volume. Water is also flowing down in agricultural canals. Starting from this small canal, collecting the water from many canals, and finally flowing into the river. the middle part of the river. You can also see the water is flowing into the river. What is the origin of this water? It seems artificially flowing into the river. Let's trace the origin of the water. Many water is flowing in the canal. But this canal is different from agriculture canal. You can see this canal is just flowing in the middle of the city area. Traditionally, people are using this water for domestic use and wasted water is flowing into the river. Now we reach to the middle of the river. You can see the color of the river is brown. This is just after the rainfall because of the sediments. Now we are coming down to the most lower part of the river. You can see many flat area and wetlands are surrounding the river. This is just the point that the water is flowing into the ocean. We are now coming back to the origin of the water. By using the weir, we can measure the volume of the water. We measure the water level of the water river and by using this equipment, the water can be collected into the bottles. And taking back to the laboratory, we can measure the chemistry of the water. 
biological simulations are very useful and powerful tools. This is a brief explanation of the hydrological simulations. The whole watershed is subdivided into the several parts, and river routing process is now simulated. If you look at the each sub watershed, sub watershed is composed of the more detailed hydrological process simulations. If you look at the left hand side of the figure, you can see the detail of the hydrological process that is simulated. This is the process occurring at the ground surface, evapotranspiration, irrigation is simulated and this is the process occurring at the below the surface and by using these hydrological simulations you can get the comprehensive understanding of the hydrological cycle this is the example of the hydrological simulations in the Amu river basin you can see blue color area and red color area Red color area has high volume in water in the river and you can see the water is flowing from left hand side to the right hand side. Okay. Mm -hmm.